The basement. The basement. The basement. Hey everybody, I'm Stan. And I'm Ross. And I'm Mard. And we're The Basement, and we are playing Dead Space. Yeah. Uh, as per Ross's request. Yeah, this is my inaugural Let's Play, and it's a doozy of one. It's one of my favorite games, honestly. Uh, I've never really been a big fan of uh, Resident Evil, but when Resident Evil 4, I believe it was, came out for the GameCube, that was, yeah, was when I played that style, and then this one probably came out shortly thereafter. Maybe it came out before. Oh, this came out way after. This is 2008, man. Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, I suppose PS3, huh? Yep, Resident Evil 4... As it happens, I'm sitting next to the bookshelf, and I can tell you where when Resident Evil 4 came out. Uh, While well, he's looking that up, I, I just remember Dead Space as being one where I, in a lot of games, I thought that the people acted kind of foolishly, and they did stuff that were questionable. But this one just seemed like you act properly. Like, people are responding well, and, like, you, you have this horrible thing happening. You, you don't... It, it plays out as you would expect. And oh, people... So. People try to, you know, not die. It was an 2005. Odd, 2005. It was an odd take on a whole horror genre with an engineer. That was the part that really kind of drew me in. It's just, a, although I don't really know, if, <laughs> space engineers must be someone very different from the engineers that I know because these guys <laughs> are like jack of the all trades. Like I'm gonna fucking go into the situation and kill everything and then maybe fix nothing, you know. So, well, with that being said, I suppose we'll just dive right in. Uh, to be fair, to be 100% fair to the audience, we we have played recently, Ross has played through it, however, I have done my best to avoid watching him play, so a lot of this is brand new to me, I have never played Dead Space, I've only seen what little bit I've seen of Ross playing recently, so. And I played it on the computer, and it was, the controls were horrible because of the bad porting, and it was really slow and sluggish, so it's been a long time, and I was very terrible at it. I know it's coming mostly. Did something change with this? Because I remember this being like right in the middle of the last time I did this, where the dark, and now I, and unless my eyes are getting terrible. Like uh, right the, could be glaring. No, it, it could be. The last time you played this, to be fair, we're playing this on the PlayStation 3, which does have the the high de uh, high def copyright protection. And we kind oh. of use a workaround, so it's possible now that it's running component that we're dealing with a little bit lower audio or audio video quality. And as such, you've had to slide it. Well, that being said, we're going to go if it's maxed. I can just <laughs> barely see it, so. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, I'll go to this one. Uh, this little buzzer of a pod chip. The intro of this always confused me because they have this, the Ishimaru, which is this very large, what they call a planet cracker, that's essentially this viable ecosystem of people that live in space. And they have all this errors going on, and they send four people to fix it. Of which only <laughs> one is an engineer. One's a soldier, and a, a, is it four or three? I don't remember. I think there, there's it. four, because there's you, there's the soldier guy. There's the chick. There's the chick, and then there's the... Uh, I think there's a pilot. Oh, and then there's the captain, too. Uh, so there's actually five of you. Yeah. See, unlike Resident Evil, though, these guys actually know what they're doing. And they're, they're not just the master of unlocking. There are other things as well. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, a side note is that we can't hear uh, audio right now, so we're not gonna have like the reactions that we probably should have to it, be like, eh, which is gonna make it harder for me to play as well. You know what? I think this will be better reactions because you won't know what's coming at you until you turn around and see it staring at you. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> so this is uh, this is Isaac's uh, girlfriend or significant other, maybe wife. I don't really remember. Isaac did pretty well for himself, I think. Uh, not bad. <laughs> you never really get to see what Isaac looks like, do you? Yeah, at the very end. Oh, okay. You do. It comes off. Remember, you were that. there when we when I reacted to it. I'll save that reaction for the end, but I, you see kind of here, he's got a little bit of gray hair. You know, he's elderly. His chin turning. Although, who knows what life expectancy is in space now. You might be living to your 200. I don't... I, That's I, true. There's no context. Technology kind of shifts. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Graphically, it still pretty much holds up. Uh, you know what? Ultimately, not a lot, really. I mean, yeah, there's there's been graphical advancements since 2008. But ultimately, it's so small. Well, I've seen new stuff come out, and it looks it looks beautiful. 
but it not it only the details are only just increased. It's not as a big of a jump. And yeah, things. it was a huge jump coming to this point. You, 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 I think you're just gaining marginally. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I've probably stated it a trillion times before that good graphics don't make a good game. Bad graphics can make a bad game. That's true. Because I've played some games that are bad specifically to the point of I don't know what's going on because I can't tell what this shit is. This is another thing I don't understand. It's like, all I know about space travel, which is probably not much, or what I've seen on TV, is that you would not want to put your main ship into a debris field. Or relatively near it, but I guess whatever they have. I guess there's that one scene where you have the guns. Ultimately, yeah, they have the asteroid. Mm-hmm. But uh, my my kind of my thought on it was that they cracked the planet and then kind of lost control of what's going on. Could be. So you've got you've picked up some debris from that. All right, now they're being docked, kind of getting some tractor beam action. Oh shit, stuff's gone crazy. I'm assuming those two are arguing because that's kind of the status quo of the black guy arguing with the white chick. I don't know. I don't know. Trying not to crash too badly. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. Throughout the entire game, they're arguing back and forth, and then you're just, just quietly just listening. Yeah. It's not, okay, I'll go do this. Okay, I'll do that. And then I got the pilot here. This is like his only. No, really, the only thing the pilot really does manages to save everyone's life, and then he gets no credit. <laughs> it's they don't true. even have a voice actor for him. He's just like, meh. Yeah, they may. He may say something in the beginning of here. I can't really remember. I just imagine right. he says, oh yeah. Here we go. I don't know why. What? So, look at how five. confrontational they look. Pat- oh, there you go. There's Isaac. Look oh, at that. Oh, yeah. He's very, very normal. I like, totally forgot about that. The, pretty much the most normalest person you could render in 3D. <laughs> Joe Generic. Yeah. <laughs> How can we not offend anyone? This is the man. Well, I suppose, but she's saying right. something. Oh, I think she's I making sure health. that you can see my little health bar is right there. Oh, I think she's explaining the suit. Yeah. Uh, and this guy walks by. Uh huh. He got a mustache. Oh, and there's there's an Asian. Wow. We got. This is a diverse crew. This is a multicultural party. Oh, and my weird ass helmet. I just remember how bland that suit looks to begin with. How awesome it looks by the end. I don't know if we can turn qualify as looking awesome. Yeah, it's I, true. It's very uh, functional. All right. I gotta remember right, here's your tutorial. L, R, look, one. All right. I got that. You can things. Yes. Small med pack. Oh, I'm going to take a look around here. What the hell is that? That seems like just an odd thing. This... That's a ceiling panel just flopping down. I mean, you did kind of crash. I suppose. You took a crash course? Uh, oh, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to do this for an hour with you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You can say the thought is Ooh, scary. Run, run, run. Uh, all this weekend I've had run, 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 jump. I can be a backpack <laughs> while you run. What? Oh, you never seen that? Uh-uh. I'm going to have to show, put up a link for that. <laughs> okay. It's a, yeah, the Yoda song uh oh wait yeah, yeah the, i can't remember exactly what it is bad lip reading isn't it yeah, yeah. With, with yoda and my favorite line from that entire thing is like and i was in the forest and i rolled over this log and underneath that log was this tiny stick and i was like that log had a child <laughs> <laughs> yes i have a, oh, forget just, him. oh oh i got some more cues here we go Switch open doors. Unlocked. Locked. Okay. I'm telling you about how doors work. Oh, red you to open that red door. means no. Blue so, means maybe. So this is the beginning where they don't let you do anything other than open this door. Like You, <laughs> you see this green thing you're like, I want to touch it. It's mine. Let me let me push the button. And you're like, nope. I'm hitting all the buttons. Nothing happens. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Tutorial zone. Yay, I They're did all it. watching you. I did just... it. How come Isaac's the only one with like a badass suit though? I mean, even this suit is like, none of them have their life. Excited. Oh, wait, there's one. Never mind. I lied. The soldiers do. Yeah, everyone does, apparently. But you think they, well, I guess they don't have a helmet just for the story purpose of seeing their expressions. Credits. I like me some credits. <laughs> you're just looting that. You don't even know what's going on here. But you're nope, like, uh, they're hey, talking. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm taking that off. There's this disheveled area. Like, And this is one thing that struck me. Is like, this is a massive, massive ship. And this is like the docking area, and it's just full of shit. Just like... <laughs> 
Here's that's probably a poor Meg right there, just laying around. There's some. Ba- I can't remember if it was this game, but yeah, I, th- I think there's some that are you could construe as that. Oh, you can't even save at this point. All right, you do this and only this. Go get this oh. door open. Oh, I don't. I can hit this button. I can do that. That that tells you your objective points. But... Yeah, but I don't think it's telling you that this is the objective yet, is it? Uh... I think it's telling you that that the other door over there, maybe. Oh no! I got an extra locator. Map screen. There you go. Oh, okay, now it wants you. She's now identified. Tell me. Yep, there it yeah. is. She identified that that door is an opening. Mm-hmm. You need to override it. Go in there, Isaac. We're in a uh, quarantine mode. Like you know, that's interesting that they use that. That's a in, in not lockdown quarantine. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess Lord. maybe the ship can. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Is advanced enough to be able to say, "Hey, there's something organic in this." Uh, well, it does. Okay. As you go through the game, it tells mm-hmm. you that. Something is sensed. Yeah. So, so something that causes a bunch of blood. Now you cut scene. This is like when right away this game doesn't doesn't you don't get no uh, welcome period here. You go right into the freaky shit. Yeah. So now you can start seeing how they play with shadows and lighting. And oh, something dropped in there. Watch out, buddy. Like he didn't hear that thing fall. Stabby stab, stab <laughs> stab. Did I run yet? Nope. Okay. Watch this guy get killed. Oh. A little bit of blood spray on the window. Oh, excuse. Now I run. There's like run, 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 there. run, 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 run of a bitch. Oh, shit. oh snap! Something hit me. I think it was a beam falling from. They really do well oh. with these shadows. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! It'd be quite frightening having. Oh, I. <laughs> having a giant, spiky or thing with spikes coming after you. Mm, that thing barely damaged me. Did you hit this now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got on the elevator. We're all leaving. Yeah, fuck you guys. Elevators suck. And here's the part where you shit your pants. It's really dramatic music playing. You're like, oh my god, I got nothing to do. And it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty intense. And yeah. I did watch this beginning se- segment. And it's well done. Mm-hmm. Just, there's in a lot of games where you don't have any weapons, this starting, starting point... Is you, you kind of understand you're safe, but there's somewhere like this where you're, you're not safe. You're you're not just thrown on the woods, but you're. I think they have to get the gun before to let you melee attack shit. Uh, well, welcome to the best gun in the entire game. <laughs> it's, it's it's so true. Yeah, it's. I, I really punch, like foot stomp. Okay. How they integrate the cut off their limbs and just put that right at the start of that's just the basis. That'll be the entire game of. Yeah, that's what you're aiming for. Pretty much. The only thing I don't think you cut off the limbs of generally is the brute. Is like the really big guys. Oh yeah, okay. Normally I shouldn't talk about this. Like, I know what's happening, but I know what's happening, guys. Look. Look. I also like, and maybe people don't like this, is like these little chests. They just have a tiny little flashing thing to indicate them. It's not like you walk by and there's a huge ass thing like, loot this. Yeah. Oh, the curb stopped me some stuff. Yeah, so it's all very, it could very easily be missed. Yep. It's electrified. I think in this aspect, right here, you're hearing some very gruesome noises coming off of this, if I so remember. Yeah. Huh. You see a guy getting chewed upon? Yes. Curb stomp that guy. Rah! <laughs> Just the spray of viscera. Look at some X thing here. There it is. What? It was up somewhere. I need me my ammo. <laughs> That's probably the hardest part of this, the beginning part of the game, is that ammo is not all that abundant. That's kind of a throwback to the I think to the earlier survival horror games. Because you play Resident <laughs> the original Resident Evil and it's like you don't you can't just run around and kill everything. There's times where you have to manage your ammo to an extent. If you're paying, playing in the harder difficulties, to an extent. Collect the health pack to save the health bar. All oh, right. My pack. Before we continue on, we'll show this next time. All right. When we come back, we will continue playing Dead Space. With chapter one and the adventures of Isaac the Engineer. So we'll see you later. Bye. Mm-hmm. You go right into the freaky shit. It's so small.